Hi everyone, I'm Katrina and today I'm here with the Mid-Year Book Freakout Tag. This tag was created by Chami and Ellie and I have both of their channels linked down below. And I don't think I was tagged by anyone in particular, but it looked like a lot of fun. So I thought, hey, why not just do it? So without further ado, let's jump straight into the questions. Best book you've read so far this year? Interestingly, the book I've chosen for this, I didn't originally rate five out of five stars. I gave it four and a half and I've done a full review on it and everything, but I don't know, there's just something about it since finishing it. I just can't get over this book and it's stuck with me. Every time someone puts me on the spot and asks me for a recommendation or what a really good book was, I think of this book straight away. And that book is My Sister Rosa by Justine Labelestia. The only real reason that I can remember why I docked half a star from this one is because it's a bit slower paced towards the beginning. But for such a character driven book, it's understandable and I honestly didn't really mind. Like in the review I said it didn't bother me too much. So I don't know why I docked half a star for that reason. So I think I'm officially changing my rating for this one to five out of five stars because it's just stuck with me. And this is the book that I continuously gift to people this year. I think I've given this book to like three or four people so far this year. I just want everybody to read it. The best sequel you've read so far this year. This series is oh so incredible. I adored Illuminae and I think I kind of liked Gemina the littlest bit more, maybe. I don't know. It's hard to decide. But I just love how this book is so different. It makes for such a unique reading experience and also listening experience. The audiobook for Illuminae was incredible, so I'm really hoping they do a similar thing with Gemina because I'd totally be down for rereading it and listening to it. But this book was just so intense and gripping and there was so much mystery and I just, I couldn't deal with everything that was happening. Like, I couldn't react fast enough because so much stuff was being thrown at me and <laughs> I just get so worked up thinking about this book, it was so good. A new release you haven't read yet, but want to. This Savage Song by Victoria Schwab. This book just sounds so dark and up my alley, so it's set in a world where violence pretty much creates monsters. And I think we follow two characters who are the heirs to a divided city, and I'm pretty sure one of them is a monster, so that will be interesting seeing these two and their dynamic. It just sounds so interesting and I really want to get a copy of it. Most anticipated release for the second half of the year. Mainly Heartless by Marissa Meyer and Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, the play. Biggest disappointment. Soundless by Rochelle Mead. This one sounded really, really interesting, but I was, uh, yeah, I was quite disappointed with this book. And I did do a full review of this one as well, if you're interested in more of my thoughts, but I just was expecting more world building and character development and it just felt kind of lacking. The idea had a lot of a potential but I didn't love the execution. Biggest surprise. For this one I'm going to say The Yellow Wallpaper by Charlotte Perkins Gilman. This is a short story that I read for my feminism and literature course and I went into it not really knowing anything about it but I was blown away. It was just so creepy and eerie and I was just really drawn into it. It follows this woman as she descends into madness and it focuses around a yellow wallpaper that's like people moving behind it. I honestly wasn't expecting to have such a strong reaction to the short story and for loving it so much, especially after doing a bit of study on it in my class and learning about why Charlotte Perkins Gilman wrote the story. It just, yes, yes. Favourite new author? Jay Kristoff because I loved Illuminae, which I read last year. I read Gemina this year and they managed to just blow me away again. And I've just started reading Nevernight and that is a piece of art. I love the writing style. I think it's incredibly, incredibly beautiful. Oh, and the story so far, and the world building, it's just so complex. And the way that the world building is done as well, it doesn't feel like I'm being bombarded with information, but I'm being told it in an amusing and entertaining way. So just, I'm loving that book so much and I think just yes 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 newest fictional crush I'm not sure actually like I didn't fall head over heels in love with any fictional men this year so far I don't know just looking back at the books that I've read nothing's really standing out to me so I think the character that's probably the most likely to fit the bill for this question is Nick from Gemini he's a part of a notorious crime family and I really liked his humor I actually really loved his humor in this and I don't really want to say anything else for reasons. Newest favorite character. For this one I'd say either Che from My Sister Rosa or Winter from Winter. I really liked Che because he was such a realistic character and I just he just felt so relatable even though we don't share much of the same experiences. But then Winter, she was just such a fascinating character and I loved learning more about her because you see her a little bit in Cress I believe and then we obviously follow her more so in this book and I just was really drawn to her. I just felt so much for Winter and just the things that she's been through like 
Serious Hell, Books That Made You Cry. More Happy Than Not by Adam Silvera. This book kind of broke me a little bit. Very raw emotions with this one and I was just like, oh. Book That Made You Happy. For this one, I'm gonna say Alana, The First Adventure by Tamora Pierce, just because of the nostalgia factor. It was so nice diving back into this world again and following Alana as she trains to be a knight and all of the adventures she goes on, like reading the series again, it just, Ah, oh, all of the memories. The most beautiful book you've bought or received so far this year. Rebel of the Sands by Alwyn Hamilton. This is such a stunning book. All of the shine, all of the shine. And I just love, love the design of this. It is actually stunning. Mm, 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 mm. What books do you need to read by the end of the year? I have a list of books that I ideally would like to read by the end of this year, but I'm not gonna go and talk about all of them because that's just gonna get really long and boring. So I'll mention a couple of books. The Air Affair by Jasper Ford. The main reason for this one is because I'm actually studying it this semester at university, so I kind of have to read it. But I decided to mention this one in particular out of all of my reading lists because this is one that I actually had already owned and I'm super interested in reading. It seems like a lot of fun. I would also like to finish Their Fractured Light by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner because I am ashamed I have not finished this book already. This book came out last year and is part of one of my favorite series and I don't know why I haven't read this. Plus upon completing this one I will be finishing another series which is one of my goals for the year to complete more series. And another book that I want to read by the end of the year is Clockwork Princess by Cassandra Clare. I haven't read the second book but it is on my TBR for this month for the Booktubeathon so fingers crossed that I read it but again with this one Upon completing it, I will have finished another series altogether. So that will help towards my goal. Plus this is a series that I've just been dying to finish. I don't know why I didn't continue reading the second and third books right after finishing the first one three years ago. I don't make any sense, I'm sorry. Favorite book community member. Okay, I've decided to mention a channel mainly because I marathoned all of their videos within a couple of days. When I was supposed to actually be doing an assignment, I was really drawn to their videos and I think they're absolutely hilarious. And that is Slutty Book Club. Club. And on this channel there's two lovely ladies, Sarah and Nikki, who read books together and then do talks about them, but also do other really fun segments, including little known facts about the book and under the sheets where they say like the dirtiest lines from the book, as well as other fun videos, like they raid each other's bookshelves, and they've also put up a couple of really funny confessions videos. I think their videos are just so well put together, so really well spoken. I've fallen in love with their channel and I wish they put out videos more frequently, even though they do put videos out pretty frequently, I just want more, so I can marathon them all the time. So those are all of the questions for the mid-year book freak out tag. And as for tagging people, I'm going to mention a couple of people in particular, but if you would like to do this tag video as well, I tag you. So in particular, I would like to tag Thoughts on Tomes, Peter Likes Books, Sam's Nonsense, Emma Books, and Books Beauty Amory. But like I said, if you want to do the tag as well, I tag you. And if you do end up doing a video for this one, leave a comment down below sharing the link so I can check it out. And thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Bye!